Good morning, delegates. My name is Lauren Sandoval, and I have an important message for you. Climate change has a major impact on everybody. During the summer of 2018, the sub-Saharan countries were not able to provide and import enough food for their people. On top of that, drinking water is at its all-time low for the countries affected. Especially Mali, Chad, and Sudan are affected by the drought and the scarcity of food. These countries are also known to have had political turmoil with other countries and within their borders. Experts on this topic agree that the people are not trying to migrate to the south of Africa. They will be coming over the Mediterranean Sea. If Europe thinks they have a problem with migration today, they don't know what is coming, said retired U.S. Military Corps Brigadier General Bob Hauser. Countries have to react fast to help others involved before it is too late. Right now, it is estimated that only 4 million people are trying to make its way to Europe. To this, the expert Joachim Honeck said, I think uh, to establish a linear relationship between climate change and, and the pressure of migration uh, is something you should be cautious about, uh, as also the International Organization for Migration remarks, uh, because migration per se is a much more complex issue. So what is new with the crisis that we are facing right now in Central Africa is that it seems that we have for the first time a clear connection between uh, the shortage of food and water uh, that in, in one moment of history is uh, pushing millions of people towards the north. So uh, this is something that from scholarship you wouldn't necessarily expect because uh, the changes with climate change are a slow process, nonetheless. That is also the problem why politicians did not react as fast as you would expect them to react because um, the pressure of, of change uh, is not really there. So this might change with this crisis in Central Africa. Uh, it is reported that about 4 million people uh, have set their paths towards Europe. So the question is, how will the Europeans react to that pressure?